keep it rolling for a few seconds. So we're going to watch two uh, versions of the same scene from Star Wars and New Hope. And we're actually going to kind of watch four different versions of it. But you'll see, you'll see what I mean. All right? And then uh, I want you to, uh, to answer these two questions. One, what is different between these two versions? Or really one version and the other three are the same. And how does this single difference affect our perception of Han Solo's character in each version? Well, we die. In other words, in uh, Force Awakens, he does. But in the, he was a brand new character in uh, Episode Four, which is the first Star Wars film, which is confusing if you're born after 1999. So again, the first. Uh, uh, George Lucas made four, five, and six of the first ones, and he said that he intended to make prequels, which didn't come out, like the four, five, and six came out from between 1977 and 1983, and then the next Star Wars didn't come out until 1999. So, as a little kid, I was super excited because I loved Star Wars, and then the prequels came out, and I didn't love Star Wars anymore. Because um, <laughs> they weren't very good, although the recent ones have been really good, actually. I've, I've enjoyed all of them a lot. Um, just not as much as I used to when I was a kid. So, uh, in 1977, May 25th, I believe, 1977, uh, Star Wars A New Hope, later to be called Episode Four, A New Hope, came out in theaters and became uh, a huge smash hit, one of the top grossing movies of all time. It well, really I changed. Seen it. You wasn't even born. I wasn't born yet. I was born four years later. I didn't see it. I didn't see it until it was on VHS. Right? So I was born right before Return of the Jedi came out. Um, so, well, like in the 80s or 90s? So early 80s when uh, uh, Star, uh, uh, episodes 5 and 6 come out. So episode 4 comes out, it's a huge thing, it makes tons of money, launches a billion dollar franchise. You know, Disney bought LucasArts for three billion dollars. So lots of money in this. And George Lucas, all of a sudden, you know, he realizes he has these prequels coming out. And then there, there's some kids who he hasn't sucked enough money from yet. So he goes, all right, well, there was like no computer uh, animation in the late 70s, early 80s. Or if there was, it was very crude. And he decided, all right, well, I want to re-release Star Wars into theaters. And because in, two, in 1997, he re-released the first three Star Wars films, which are 4, 5, and 6, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. All with like CGI, all with new scenes in it and stuff like that. And ever since then, if you want to see the original versions of Star Wars, you haven't been able to. Uh, unless you own like an, earl, an old version, which some people make their own versions of the old films. And there were some changes made. And there was one change that pissed people off. What? And we're going to see it. I'm going to see if you can spot it. That change was made because Disney bought it, right? No, it was way before Disney bought it. Disney only bought LucasArts like three years ago. This was 1997. So 22 years ago. All right? So. I'm going to show you something, all right? Right now, and we can we can cut here. 